Hey guys, it's Mary. And I'm Mom. Be right to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Down below, y'all. Today we are going to be talking about the Raptors. He yeah, made a video. Raptors. I did not even know. We are at Women's History, History Month. Month. Oh, before that, let me just say Happy Independence Day to Ghana. Woo! You guys know I was born in, in Ghana, raised in Sierra Leone. My mom is from Ghana. And today is the 66th year independence from the British. Yes. So wonderful. Happy Independence Day, Ghana. And happy Women's Month, you all, to our beautiful ladies on this channel who yes. subscribe to us, who yes, support, yes. like, share, and comment on all of our content, who yes. email us yes. new content to talk about. Yes. But we're going to go ahead and talk about this video yes. so that you really, saw. Um, I actually did not see the video. I just saw that they had done something. It was offensive to women and it was like um, we need to do better about inclusion because now the Toronto Raptors, they did a video to celebrate women but they said that they it wasn't inclusive enough or something. That's what I read. So I was like, what was actually said? So I kind of yeah. read what was said. And it was pretty much they they um, they were looking at Beyonce's um, they were looking at Beyonce's uh, song, you know, who runs the world? Yeah, right. Thank, thank you, Bella. So Bye. Okay. Have, Have a good day. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, no problem. And and so they were celebrating um, women. So they did the who runs the world, right? And and then you know you have one of the Toronto Raptors, uh, the um, the team member, and he's like, women um, procreate, right? And someone else says, oh, they birth the whole world or something. Yeah, you have said that many times. Absolutely. And in uh, and and so, I was wondering, well, why are they upset? It could be one of two things. It could be that. The people who have changed from man to woman, yeah, and I don't know what they are called. If you're called trans woman or trans, trans man, woman, we talked about that in another segment. You said yeah. it's supposed to be trans women. Yeah, if it's not, then correct us. But um, that's why I either felt it could be one of two things: that the people who are trans women are upset because they actually cannot physically or biologically create. Procreate. Yeah. And so we're, you're not including them in your women's month. Right. Or it could be that women are feeling like, hey, we're not just good for birthing people. Right? Either case, um, I think, you know, I have no problems with what they said. Me in this day and age, how I feel is like, People trying to snuff out women. That's how I feel as a woman. And there's such an attack on women. It's like in if general, a real woman says, if a woman says, I am a real woman, you feel the people who are trans women feel offended. Well, I am offended. If a trans woman says she's a woman, I am offended. I am actually offended. Not offended because you say you're a woman. But I am offended that you think it's just so easy to now become a woman. That's how I feel. Because every month when I was seeing my period, I have to I've had to live with that. And I see how you struggle every month. Yeah. I'm bedridden period. whenever I have my period. And then we birth children. I think the idea of birthing children you open this room has been, we have made that into such a minuscule stuff. Well, I think men and have done that. Not I minuscule. think men have basically said in mm -hmm. society that what women do is- I don't think is, it's the men. I don't think it's the men. No, the, the, let me say out. this. I think the reason why I'm, the reason why I'm okay. saying that is because I feel like in society, mm -hmm. there is such an emphasis on the fact that men, they go out into society, they work, they do all this stuff. Women are supposed to stay at home, cook and clean and raise the children mm -hmm. as if that's not a 24 7 job it is as if that's not harder than you going out to work for nine to five 
and then going to the bar to go drink and then you get to come home yeah. and then I have to come and feed you yes. satisfy you and all this stuff yes. they have made it as if what women do is just something that they do it's my new and school. they should it's my new school yeah. it's very young it's yeah. very it's very little and it's insignificant yeah. when really it's much greater than what men go out there and do in society as it far is. as I'm concerned because no one will be here uh -huh. if women did not come and birth the whole entire world. Um, I feel like we have kind of allowed it to women be Women like, have allowed. They so, have allowed men yeah. to really push this narrative that what we do is not enough. Okay. So it's like we're out here trying to be superhuman. I have to be a mom, I have to work, I have to be a wife and all this stuff. Uh -huh. And then I go out there and I'm doing nine to fives as well uh -huh. and I'm working. Like it's enough for a woman to just sit at home, take care of the kids, yeah. cook, clean, whatever. Like that is enough in itself. Like that is huge. Yes. I don't feel like we appreciate what women do enough so i don't have an issue with them talking about we procreate that's a phenomenal thing that's a huge thing and it's something yeah. that should be respected yeah. and honored and uplifted and as it's far something as that concerned. only a woman can do absolutely it's something that only us can do and but this is what i wanted to say about what you were talking about i i don't think it started with the men i think it started with women allowing this narrative that you know I can do everything a man can do. Mm -hmm. And then we started to push that, right? Because we, we, we were at home first, yeah. right? And maybe, listen, I'm not a history buff, so I really don't know. But what I'm thinking is we were at home first. We wanted to be able to also work, some of us. Yeah. Okay? Because, you know, we didn't want men keeping us at home. We need to be women. We need to be out there also. We can work just like you. We can do the things that you can do. And so, yeah, the world said, yeah, go right ahead. And we don't realize that we're like, <laughs> we're going to be the ones who are going to be pushing this narrative. And then it continued. We were out there, right? Of course, we, we got pregnant. Well, like a man who's having a child whose wife is having a child is a whole different thing. He gets to still be, you know, partner in his company or anything. Mm -hmm. Whereas the woman is like, uh, okay, well, you're 30, you have no children. Aren't you gonna get married one day? As soon as she gets pregnant, it's like, huh, am I gonna be able to make her partner? Is she gonna be able to, you know, you're not gonna be able to be here like a man. You know, so, they, so that discrimination was there. So now women had to make the choice, well, okay, I only have children, I'll wait. And then later on when I'm old enough, 40, 50, you see it now. Women who are in their 50s now want children for the first time. So they're getting eggs, you know, getting surrogate. Yeah. Because I want to have my child. I did all my career and all that stuff trying to show that I can do it all. And then women also have allowed the narrative. I mean, even look at the song about who run the world, right? There's a part in it and I was right there singing it, right? You know, I can, you know, birth the children and then get back to work and yes. get back to business. Yes. Like, birth the kids and back to business. Oh, I love that. I, that was my favorite line in the whole thing. Like, yes, yes, because wow, I've done it. Oh, yeah. I mean, there are times when I just got the children, I was actually at home. But, you know, I was still doing some work at home, you know. But, like, we have allowed this narrative to go on. And even it gets to a point where, you know, you see the celebrities. I had to have a baby in six weeks. They want to see that, you know, you don't have a, a, a pregnancy pouch. Yeah. You know, you got to come out. There's like pressure on that celebrity mom to come out and show that her stomach is flat. Yeah. And she's pushing the babies and all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. So now we started, we also started to allow celebrities, you know, they're the ones who kind of push the culture right yeah. so we allow them to show us and say yes this is how it's done you know you have your children even as the celebrities also are having children without marriage yeah. you're know, the ones who's pushing our culture now yeah hey well all the kardashians they ain't got no man they're all single pair of single mamas i can go do that too yeah you know what i'm saying ain't got the money <laughs> don't get in their business but i'm gonna follow what they're doing yeah you know what i'm saying so they're pushing that culture and we have allowed it as women. And now the stuff that's being pushed now 
is okay i cannot even say that women procreate because it's going to not include the trans women that are about one percent of the society or i don't even think they're five percent of the society uh, correct me if i'm wrong or even two percent of the society i'm now going to we can't say women procreate because you are not including the biological men who became women. Yeah. And even to say that, that's wrong to say. It's wrong to say because somehow it was a mistake when they were born. And they've been feeling this all their lives. And it is not putting, you know, the how they, I don't know how it feels to be young and have this feeling or whatever. I don't know how that feels. I know how it feels to be a woman. I know what that means. There's something that I can do. So that's why now when someone says, um, you know, hey, women can procreate, I'm happy about that. Well, thank God. That's actually something that we can do. It's something that should be revered, yeah, revered. It should be respected. It should be revered. It's a big thing that we do. We as women have allowed it to be tiny. Yeah. That's what we have done. We allowed it. Yeah. We allowed the women's movement to push us out of the home. I mean, it was part of the stuff, you know, and yes, we understand there was, you know, maybe probably abuse and all this stuff, whatever. But we're doing it again. Now, you can't even say, I am a real woman. People are going to get offended. Oh, well, what, the, what does that mean? Now, I have to call myself a cisgender woman because, you know, there are other kinds of women. And now this has been put in the dictionary, so you follow that. Well, you know something? I actually enjoyed the fact that finally, oh yes, yes, the, our ability to procreate is ours. It's something to be revered. Yeah. Without us, humanity does not exist. It doesn't, you know, if we, if everyone just decided we're not having any children, that's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Humanity yeah. will not continue. So I actually enjoy that because I feel like how it is now in society, we're taking away so much from the woman yeah. that now, if you say it, it's like people are offended. I don't even know what to say now with the whole topic about women. Say your truth. You can't even explain what a woman is. If someone says, what is a woman? And you say, oh, a woman can procreate. Oh, that's, you, you shouldn't say that because not all women can procreate. There are some women who um, became women and now they're trans women and you have to include them in that. So that is wrong, what you just said. I mean, like I am so fucking confused, it's not even funny. I mean, if there's anybody here who's confused like me of what was offensive about what they said, they said the truth. Yeah. Women procreate, yes, yay for women. And we are the ones who birth everybody. Yay for women. It should be revered. Yeah. When a woman is pregnant, we should not be trying to rush her home. I mean, rush her out there into the world. Yeah. We just give her, just her, her to six get her weeks. body back. Yeah, I know. Six weeks is no... Maybe that's even how the whole six weeks stuff came through. Because you have the celebrities, by six weeks, they're out. Yeah. Stomach is flat. They don't tell you that, you know, they did a C-section... And they pull the skin and make sure that's nice and taut before they left to the hospital. I remember, um, was it Cardi B? She had just given birth. She came out in this yellow um, crop top and this really low yellow cut thing. You can see all of the, like, the needle pricks and everything. Like, she mm -hmm. wasn't even healed. Yeah. Like, but, I mean, there was, I think it was a BT or whatever. She felt like she had to come out and stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, but you push the women to come out and we have to be all strong we need to be able to birth the babies and, and still run the world and all of this stuff 
I feel like women, we have done ourselves a disservice. We've done ourselves a disservice. By not actually really we have done holding up what we do. We have done a great disservice. And I'm going to tell you something else. You know what this reminds me of? It also reminds me of black women. Black women have also been getting pushed out completely. Now you have biracial women, people of color women, the ones who call themselves people of color, like Meghan Markle, you know, I, I mean, there are other celebrities who call themselves people of color, like the, the lady, she was in The Matrix. I think it was the second Matrix, the one, do you remember, um, uh, the, the, the guy, I don't even know, anyway, she, she was in The Matrix, The Second Matrix. She also, actually, the other day I saw her on something calling herself a Latina. She doesn't even say she's a black woman, but she's there representing all the black roles. So she's black when she wants to be. Yeah. But she says for herself, she doesn't consider herself black. She says, so I, say, so I saw her with her mouth saying that she considers herself Latina or a person of color. Yeah. But now, they now can also take our roles as black women. They can take those roles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I remember so they now basically black put women, Zoe Saldana in blackface for the Nina Simone biopic. I remember yeah. they did that. They painted her yep. extra black and all this stuff. I when I was part. like, they couldn't have Viola Davis do that. Yeah, they could have had so many. There's so many black women that could have played that, that role. Nia Long could have played it. There are a lot of black women who could have played that role. Yeah. But this is what's going on. Black women have, are being pushed aside. And because we have black men who are out there, we are allowing the black men to push the black culture. So the black men, because they don't want to feel like they are taking part in self-hatred, when they go and they are with either someone who's biracial or someone who has, you know, maybe a, a drop of black in them, they consider them black. They say, okay, oh yes, this, this is a black woman. I don't see them, I don't see the men doing it for the lighter black men though. But when it comes to the women, they bring them in and, and say, oh, she's a black woman. Like Cardi B, Cardi B is not, for the longest time I was hearing that Cardi B was black. She's not even black. She's Latina. She's not even black. I don't even know how she became black. Yeah. All the time I thought she was black. But she's not even black. You know? The woman I was talking about in the Matrix, both parents are Cuban. Yeah. She's not even black. But we do that and we have been snuffing black women out completely. Now when you look at black women, even in the, the, the story that I just saw, um, what's the name? You, oh, You People. The movie I just saw with Eddie Murphy was actually a very funny movie. Yeah. But Lauren London played that movie as a black woman because her father is black, the mother is black. Now, the mother's grandfather is white. So that's just a little bit of her, right? So they should actually have a black woman play that role. Lauren London is not black. She's biracial. Her father is, is white and the mother is black. Oh, I had no idea. She's biracial. But they're taking all these roles Black women are slowly being snuffed out, and it's the same way they're doing with women. But I mean, black men are to blame for that, for sure. But we, the women, we, the black women, are allowing it. We also look at the, I say, oh yeah, she's black. But it's that and that's why I don't do that. I actually don't do that. I have friends who are biracial. Not one of them have has ever called themselves black. Yeah. Not one of them. I have many friends who are multiracial, who consider themselves people of color, who consider themselves biracial. They do, and they do not want anyone calling them black. They don't. They are very like, no, I'm biracial because it's like you are telling me to say I'm black and con just totally discount the white side, of a me. huge part of my life, and I'm not going to let you do that. Yeah. And so that's why you will see me when I'm talking about people, you will see me say biracial, you will see me say multiracial or people of color, I will say that. 
Yeah. Because I have friends who are offended when you call them black. Yeah. And they're not. They're offended about that because they don't want you discounting who they are. Yeah. Meghan Markle, I don't call her black. I don't give a damn what the royal family she says, says. she's a person of color. She has never parted her lips and said she's black. She never has. She's, she calls herself a person of color. Her mom is black, the father is white. She's biracial. Yeah. Like, where the hell do you guys get off saying who someone is? And we black women should not allow the culture to be moved by black men because most of them out here in these streets, they don't know their elbow from their ass. Yeah. They don't know their elbow from their, uh, from their ass. They have so much self-hatred. They don't even know what's up or what's down. They're like Robin on um, on um, that Lying show, day. Real House of Potomac. Yeah. Real Housewives of Potomac. And they, they've not caught no clue. And I don't know when they will wake the hell up. I know Malcolm X used to tell them to wake the hell up. I don't know when the hell most of these black men will wake the hell up. And yeah. kind of somehow, somewhere have some pride in who they are. Because they don't. For me, I like people to have pride in who you are. If you're white, say it with pride and, and be happy. Yeah. Because I'm black, I will say it with pride and I'll be happy. You know what I'm saying? But don't try to shit on me and try to, um, try to confuse me and say that actually is not shit. It's brownie that you can eat. Because that's how I look at this. Yeah, I mean, if you're trans, be proud they, of that. Say, I was born a man, but I have chosen I am a to woman. become a trans woman. Embrace trans your woman. journey. Yeah. Embrace your journey Absolutely. of who you are. But don't try to erase the fact that but you don't, were don't, biologically born a man. Yes. Don't do that. No. And There's then, no point and in then, that that's not true to no. who you are. And then you want to step on the necks of women. And say that they're not And sad. you want to stump them out. You want to stump out our identity. But you want us to embrace yours. That makes no damn sense. Yeah. We can't call ourselves women. We can't say we procreate because it doesn't include you. Of course it doesn't include you. Did you come out of the womb a woman? No. Did you have to go through the hell of puberty um, that women go through? No. You went through the man's part, the boy's part, did you have to suffer? I suffered sometimes, most of the time I was in a hospital every month since the age of eight and a half when I started my period. Eight and a half. And now my poor daughter has to go through it since she was 11. She has to go through it every single month. Yeah. Sick for maybe a few days six days i mean i just got off this and now you want to discount days. that we go we we die to bring forth life yeah any woman who goes through pregnancy will tell you it's like an alien has taken over her body and as we labor the child out you it's almost like a 50 50 chance you could die or you could you live just it's like you know what it is i'm going to tell you when i saw it when i saw the end of the matrix and you see Neo go like this, and like he just like gives himself. You know what I'm saying? Like gives his life for you know the machine and the and the people. It's like you're just laying there. At one point, you just gotta give yourself to God because you don't know what's what's going on and how it's gonna happen. But you know that baby's gonna come any kind of way. It's like how your hair is growing on your uh, your head, or how the cells multiply four trillion of them you don't know how it happens you you don't know the beginning or the end you understand you you have no idea you just you're just trusting you've got that faith that faith the grain of a mustard seed god i'm just trusting with everything that you i am just Help me. And your body just takes flight. And you die to bring forth life. And you're telling me when someone says only we do it. 
Don't say that. How dare you? How dare you try to take something that was gifted to us? We didn't ask for it. This is how we came. And you will not make it tiny. You don't get to stand on our throats to shut us up for the hell we go through. We birth the children, we have our menses, you don't have it. No, you can't say you're a woman and I am not. Or because these men said it, you're offended. And you know something? I don't even think the trans community is offended. But I don't know who the hell is here with the March Women's um, March History Month. I, I, don't, I didn't even know that this was a thing. But whoever is organizing this is full of shit. And shame on you. Shame on you. I don't have the energy, but hopefully there'll be women out there who will say no. It's Mary. Mm. And Ama. We invite y'all to like, share, <laughs> subscribe, and comment. And please comment down below. I can't be the only woman out here in the world. Comment down below and let your voices be hard heard. Was it okay for them to say women procreate? They're the ones who birthed the entire world. Was that okay to say on Women's March History Month? And I also just Let us know. Yeah. Let us know. And I also just want to say this. There mm -hmm. are some women, mm -hmm. biological women, mm -hmm. who sometimes are not able to birth children for whatever defects they may have or whatever might be going on with them. Mm -hmm. um, and it might not be eternally. a defect. Maybe you're just not to give birth. Or maybe you're just not able to. That doesn't, also, we're not saying that. That, that doesn't mean you're not maybe, a woman. That, because yeah, exactly, we talked exactly. about the whole period thing. Yeah. We talked about the whole period thing. Yeah. There's okay. so many There's things so many that things. make us women, not just procreating. There's so many things from the way we think to the way we are spiritually to what is innately put in us from yeah. God. Yeah. All of that makes us a woman. Yeah. So I don't have an issue with what they said. I was just touching my breast because I'm thinking when the breasts start coming out as a woman, it's painful. Like, I, I don't understand. And we can't say it. It's like, oh. You can't say any of these things because other people will feel some kind of way. Like, enough. Yes. Enough. Enough. Too much nonsense. But yeah, but I just wanted to say that. Yes. So no yes. one gets confused as we're yeah. saying, like, this is the only thing that makes a woman a woman. Yeah. There are things that God puts in men innately that makes them men. Yeah. And there's things in women that he has put in us innately as women that only we will understand. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You were just saying, talking about the other day where men kind of have this innate thing to just say no and be okay with that. Where with women, we're kind of like a little yeah. bit sometimes we don't want to say no or whatever. Yeah. So all of that makes a woman. So yeah. that's all I wanted to say. Yeah. But tell your truth down below. Um, and thank you for watching. Let your voices watching. be heard. Yes. Let your voice be heard. I was not offended by what they yeah. said. I felt like whoever was being offended obviously is dense and does not understand the no. beauty of being a woman. No. That's all. Yeah. But thank you all. We are going to go eat and upload this stuff. Bye.